What's up, FD Building family? I'm Frank. And I'm Dre. And together we're FD, FD Building, Building Incorporated. G4J, I take go. A1 like the state so. G4J, I take go. A1 like the state so. G4J, I take go. A1 like the state so. All my nipping hustlers never take a day off. So we are here in front of our property located on Brookview Drive and we're going to give you guys a walkthrough of what we're going to do. This is day one, demo day. Let's get it. So first thing first, we're going to get rid of all this ugly shrubbery. We're going to pull all of this out and maybe go back with maybe some rose bushes, some rose bushes or a flower garden. I don't know. You got my man Frank show the camera. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what color we're going to put on the side in here. I'm thinking about a gray, but we're going to do a gray on the inside, so I'm not sure if I want to do gray twice in the house, but I want to be kind of switch it up once they walk into the house, so I'm still thinking on that, but definitely something to complement the red brick. <laughs> so in here, we have this ugly wallpaper. We're going to snatch all this wallpaper down, and then we're going to go forth with a Great, right? I like gray, bro. Yeah, I like gray. All right. In here, you don't have much lighting in here, so you need to definitely fix that. So we're gonna go with some um, cam lights, six cam lights, and get rid of the chandelier. This is no longer going to be the dine-in area. If you flip it over to that wall right there, this whole wall has to go because there is a nice little storage area that is heated and it could add to the square footage. So we're gonna put a door right there, make that into like a little office space or kitty space, whatever they wanna use it for. On to the kitchen. The kitchen is tied in to the den area. Get some lights so y'all can see. Definitely take these lights out, pull down this wallpaper. We're thinking about doing a two-tone on the walls and we're gonna definitely gut this kitchen. So paint the cabinets, new backsplash, new countertops, new fixtures, new appliances, new everything. I'm not going to show you the laundry room because it's not that spectacular. Going forth to our bedroom. This is a four bedroom, two bathroom, so we're going to do the usual in the bedrooms. Ceiling fan, of course, paint. I'm not sure if we're going to go with flooring or actually do carpet in the bedrooms, but either way it's going to look nice. We have our bedroom number two. Same thing, ceiling fan, paint, and flooring or carpet. Here is our first bathroom. It is not the biggest, but we're going to make it work. We're going to keep this flooring. If you see this nice retro flooring they have in here, it's really dope, so we're going to keep that and just do everything else white. Did we say that we was going to take this tile down off, off the wall, bro? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alright, so we're going to take the tile down off the wall and go with drywall. Of course, the new mirror, of course, the new light fixture, and glazed the tubs. Have a linen closet in here, extra storage here. Then you have our third bedroom. Definitely get rid of this blue floor and paint. And then on to the master. So this house doesn't really have a big master like we usually like. It's a decent size, but not the best. So the same, ceiling fan, floor, and paint the walls. And here's your master bathroom. I'm gonna step out because both of us can't be in there at the same time. So they have this nice retro floor as well. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that in. And I think we're gonna completely redo this bathroom, right bro? Yes sir. Keeping the tub, but actually taking out all the tile from on the wall, retiling the walls, and new shower head. New shower head, new countertops, new mirror, new lights, the whole nine. So, see you guys in the midst of it while we're working, and see you guys at the end once we finish. kitchen um we didn't really like how the kitchen was so open but we opened up into the den area mm -hmm. so we decided to put um, a little breakfast bar there you know to separate the kitchen from the den area and most of when we flip it we put a lot of money into uh, the kitchen you know in the bathroom area because that's an uh, eye catching for the family you want to make sure you know you got a nice kitchen for the family the wife will make sure you know she got a nice place you know to cook and stuff like that or the husband because i'll be cooking too <laughs> <laughs> so 
Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the husband, but most times, you know, what that father say, so yeah. <laughs> so, what do you think, bro, about our kitchen, though? Yeah, so the kitchen was definitely too open, so we definitely wanted to separate that den area from the kitchen area. So we felt like that breakfast bar was actually going to make that mat, that middle space more usable, and then make that into like a more of a transition point from the kitchen into the den yeah, area. Yeah. yeah. Once you guys see, I mean, see the uh, the after picture. Get ready to turn out, you know, it's really, really, really fire. You're gonna like it. Well, and ain't nobody coming on my comment. <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 why y'all do me that dirty like that? 
Well, yeah, so make sure you like, comment under the video, and subscribe to the channel, man. We appreciate you guys for getting us to 150 yes, subscribers. Also, when you subscribe, you know, uh, don't forget to click that bell. <laughs> <laughs>
Smash that subscribe button and comment down below what you think about this flip. And don't forget to hit that ding ding ding. Bing a ling a ling a ling a ling. Peace. Peace out.